of you is the first time here to come Home Network Conference? Whoa! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! Well, I'm the founder and president of this organization, and this is the eighth of our conferences. The idea for these conferences started about 17 years ago. In 1997, uh, the first year I began at EWTN, exactly 17 years, uh, would be 13 years ago, excuse me, this month, as I was writing an article for the newsletter, I realized we're 20 years away from the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation. So the idea was to have these conferences to focus on different aspects of history so we can prepare ourselves to know how to welcome all of our separated brethren back on that 500th anniversary. I edified We've done my eight soul. of these. truly have. All the way from Paul Thigpen, uh, from Father Mitch Pacwa. I'm looking forward to Scott Hahn this evening. But most importantly, all of the just wonderful fellowship from so many Catholics all over the country, everyone coming together under the one body of Christ, united in the Eucharist. People are so much on fire for their faith, on fire for the love of each other. And it's just a wonderful experience to be around so many wonderful people of God. Huh? So, Leona, is this your first time at the conference? So you've been here a number of times, right? Uh, the first time I came to the conference was 2004. Before I became Catholic. Wow. We've gotten, we've gotten a lot of input here. In fact, it's been interesting. The number of people that are speakers here that we used to know in former Protestant lives, like Paul. Oh, wow. It's amazing. just been beautiful. I've been to about six of them, uh -huh. and I just keep coming back because they're addicting. <laughs> they're wonderful. In, in the best sense. I just think it's important that you learn some of the, um, so you can better understand what's going on, that you learn some of the history involved in all of these things, and it gives you a much better insight and more depth into your understanding mm -hmm. um, of the scriptures, of the sacraments, of the Eucharist, mm -hmm. of our faith. Yeah. It's been like wonderful. This uh, coming to the Coming Home Network conference is just a dream for me. It's, uh, they were very helpful, especially the forms in my journey home. Awesome. Well, where, what were you previously? Uh, I was a... Uh, well, I, my, my journey, I was a, Un, a United Church of Canada member, then I was an Alliance Church member, an Independent Charismatic member, and a Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada member. And uh, I also uh, uh, went into ministry, uh -huh. helped start a non-denominational church. Wow. Stepped out from that church, and uh, you know, I would, I would, I'd, I'd, I'd do it all over a hundred times to mm. have the Holy Eucharist. Oh, yeah. been for you? This has been my fifth. The conference? Yes. And what do you think about the Deep in History conferences? They're fabulous. Uh, I use the term uh, exhilaratingly exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous talks, non-stop, great information, with, and, and most of all great fellowship with people who love the church, people who are looking at the church, people who want to learn more about their faith. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't miss it. What's... Listen to your heart. You can't separate our faith from history. It, it has taken place in a historical setting. Our faith is about a historical person, Jesus Christ, who established a historical church, has been active in the world, in the lives of men and in history. And so you cannot separate our, our, our faith from history. So that's why the Deep History Conference is an important uh, uh, 
thing to participate in. I think it's a great work that the church is doing, and uh, every year it gets better. So we did all of that, and it was a wonderful experience. Now, mind you, when I got to the point that I wanted, especially in a church like ours that is so rooted in history that is dependent on the development of of uh, doctrine and practice throughout history. Mm -hmm. we're, we're sacramental people, we're embodied, mm -hmm. and uh, our roots are deep in history. So. so, one of the things about the conference that has been so wonderful has been the sense of camaraderie and friendship that's here mm -hmm. among like-minded people. In, in also, the history, the church. Well, one great philosopher said that those that ignore history are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> and so, uh, one of the reasons we need to uh, engage this history is to understand that where we are today is a result of where we have come from. To reach this consensus and to draw the conclusion that what happened on the cross there on Good Friday was more than an execution, indeed more than a martyrdom. It was a sacrifice, the supreme sacrifice of all times. The reason we did this from the beginning was because we saw how important you know, filling in the gaps from our historical foundations that all of us have from our upbringing in public schools and whatever was really important to understanding the fullness of our faith. 